Alright, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this HP Stream laptop. Uh, let's see, is there a model? Model 14-CB140NR. Alright, so first what you want to do is remove the rubber things. The back one near the hinge is thicker than the front one. Um, the screws seem to be the same size, but nevertheless I recommend keeping them in order so that you don't put the wrong screws in the wrong holes. There's four up here and then four down here. Once you do that, open it up, make sure the computer's off, all right, then as you can see here, um, oops, so as you can see here, there's a gap between the bezel and the bottom cover, so you get your fingernail or pry tool in there, I do that, and then I push with my thumbs to pop this out, just like this, go all the way around, okay. Right. So we'll go all the way around, including the back. Let's see, or this okay, everything is attached to the keyboard um, side. So you just need to pop this out. Okay, the back here might be a little tricky. Let's see here, how can we get that out? So let's see this part. Uh, Rubber thing sticking me. Okay. Hmm. This side is a little tricky. Let's see here. It is showing that it's on, so I'm gonna hold the power button. It might be a screen issue that they're having because it's completely black and nothing's happening. So let's see here. I might need to use a thin tool so use a longer tool like this into the back let's see no those clips are stubborn so you will lift this part up and let's see how can we get this out there we go so I'm kind of pushing this cover for um, toward the hinge while I'm pulling it let's see if I pull it to myself okay it helps to pull it to yourself actually so pull it away from the hinge while you kind of lift it up. So pull this section towards yourself. It looks like that helps. Yep. All right. Once you got that, this one corner is being tricky. There we go. So we got the whole cover off. All right. So underneath you got the battery. That's always good to disconnect the battery first. Just grab it like that, wiggle the fins just like this, okay. Alright, once you do that, open it up, hold down the power button, usually hold it down for about 15 seconds or so, okay. Once you do that, you got all the power drained, you got the charging port here, so if you need to replace it, it's just right here. It's crazy, they use actually a really long cable for this. You got the keyboard connector here, so to remove that, you just pop this up and you can slide that out. Um, but there's not really a point because the keyboard is melted in place with this metal thing on top. You got the speakers here, same, this connector, just like all the others, you kind of just grab it, wiggle it, keep wiggling it. It might feel like it's not coming out, but keep going, keep going, keep going, and it will pop out just like that, okay? Just like all the other connectors that are on this thing like that all right you got the ram here so the ram they covered it it is ddr4 let me see if i can peel off the sticker Let's get you an exact type so this is pc4 2666v okay so that's the ram you would need all right if you wanted to upgrade it i don't know what it is currently but Usually these computers upgrading it won't really do much. You've got the SD card slot, headphone jack, USB ports, HDMI. All of it's part of the board. You've got the LCD cable connector here, so you can take that out. If you are messing with this, make sure you did the battery reset. I'm going to leave that in there. And then you've got the power button connector here as well. Um, of course, the CPU and everything is soldered to the board, so the only thing you can change is the... Um, RAM, you can't even change the SSD, I don't think. 
yeah, I don't see a removable SSD on this board. So that's all there is to this. I'm going to snap this back in place. Okay. Nothing inside. Oh, I'm going to, I, I don't want to snap it in completely yet because I need to check the screen. Actually, let me try powering it up one time first just to see if it still stays off. Sometimes it can be the RAM causing the issue, so let's see if that's the case. Um, there's one thing I need to try. So if the RAM's the issue, you can take it out, just swipe it down like this. Some people are like, what, what are you doing? But don't worry, the pins are made of gold, so you don't have to worry about it getting corroded or anything. Just make sure you have yourself grounded that you're not gonna um, get some static charge uh, into it. Okay, so now we've got that. We'll lift the screen up. Alright, might need to pop the back in so the hinge doesn't hit it. Let's power it on, see if it does anything. The power light's on. Screen is still dead. Okay, so nothing's happening. Power light is on. So nothing's happening, so I'm going to have to power it off. I'm going to check the screen cable. Hopefully that's the issue. Uh, I did see the screen flicker off, so we will see. All right, so get that out again. Disconnect the battery again. All right, hold the power button down again. Okay. And I'm going to take the screen bezel out. So to do that, you kind of just lift this. Okay, so if you need to replace the screen or something, this will be helpful as well. You want to lift the middle while you kind of push the outside inwards. And that's how you pop the bezel out. Okay, just like that. Just like that. You can see it's coming out very easily. The bottom might be difficult. All right, so let's see here if we can get the bottom part of the screen out. Just like this. All right, we might have to push this part down as well to try and get the adhesive out. All right, so peel it slowly. Be careful because there's an adhesive holding this. You might have to use a tool to kind of undo the adhesive like this. Okay. Kind of push that adhesive away. There we go. And we got the bezel out. Okay, so now let's take the screen out. Let's hope it's the LCD connector because if it's not, then it's most likely a motherboard issue and all of this was for nothing. So, if you're lucky, it could be a stick of RAM. I don't have a replacement stick of RAM to test on this. So, I'm just going to try this and hopefully it works. Okay, so pull the screen out. You got this LCD cable in place. You need to peel this up. Just like this. Alright, again, make sure you unplug the battery and hold the power button down to drain it. Alright, so we're going to hope that this cable was just loose. So, I'm going to pull the cable out. And I'm going to put it back and make sure to pull it tight. Make sure it clicks in place. Put this cable back down. Line it back up. Put the screws back in place. Oh, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing, but there's, there's four screws in the screen. I can't show this or I'm going to drop the computer on the floor. But, um... Basically, put back the four screws. Okay. I'm gonna see if if I don't. Um, maybe I have a stick of RAM somewhere. We'll find out. But I won't be able to show that on video because it's gonna take a while to find it. All right. So put that. Plop the bezel back in. Push everything back in place. Hopefully you can know what I'm doing. You basically just do that. Just pop it all back in place. Make it look easy. It might be a little tricky. Um, no need to rush it. Just 
kind of feel around to get the clips in place and then push it. All right. Just like that. Lift it back up. Now we will reconnect the battery and see if we got any luck or if it's still dead. Okay, reconnect the battery. There we go. Let's power it back on. Where's the button? There we go. This power light comes on, but nothing on the screen. Hmm. I'm s I don't know. It must be dead. So I'm gonna power this off again. I don't see anything at all on the screen. Okay, I do hear that it's getting power. Okay, let's disconnect. Oh, I'm getting these rubber thingies stuck on me. All right, so the only thing I can think is either the board is dead or the stick of RAM is bad, so. I'm gonna see if I have another stick of RAM, but other than that, that's all there is to this video. So hopefully this helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe so that other people can find it. And I'll see you in the next one. We'll try one more time. Pretty sure nothing's gonna happen. Where's the power light on this thing? On this side? Okay, the power light is on. I don't know if you can see that, but this light is on, but nothing's happening. So I'm going to turn it off, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.